Morning, accountability, under mindset as part of the MMA mastery that I work with with clients is accountability. Um, it's a big part of coaching uh, and, and it's actually a big part of a lot of things like groups you go to, weight loss clubs, gyms, um, where you have people there to keep you accountable. It's, uh, it's part of the piece in building a life by design. Now, in a lift shaft, and you know I love my analogies, um, we have a canopy up the lift shaft. So to start with, we've got to find the truth. Um, I bought these two set squares off Tinternet. And one of them is out by one and a half millimetres over this distance. Now, over the height of, say, Canary Wharf, that's five and a half metres. So if you're building a lift with that, the first lift would probably straddle over into the third lift's lift shaft. So we can't have that in building a lift by design. And also it's the same with building a life by design. So the term, what is accountability? An obligation or willingness to accept responsibility for one's action. I call this in coaching, coming back to the truth. And we build business flow workbooks to give us that in businesses and teams. What is the truth? Um, how you get it. So we have it legally in a business, um, in life. If we don't pay your taxes, you don't pay insurance, etc., etc., etc. We start taking away liberties to a point where you end up in jail to keep society accountable for living a life by design. You can also get it paid and unpaid. So part of coaching people don't realise is, is accountability. And we engineer this out when we start to coach and identify what's what's coaching and what's the accountability. Um, you can get it from a consultant, you can get it from trainers, unpaid. Um, I've got some community coaching clients. We actually share some time, one on a Monday, where we drop onto a call uh, for accountability only. What What do you want to do in the next hour? And I have a pile of stuff in the office that usually gets put to one side, and I use that hour to hold me accountable. That I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. It keeps me on track of being where I want to be. Um, so you can pay various things. You can engage uh, your friends and groups. Me and my wife have a uncomfortable conversations every now and then to talk about the gap um, of where we believe we should be, usually me, um, and where we're at. Uh, a friend of mine got divorced and I said, how long ago do you think you should have had uncomfortable conversations to maybe have stayed married? And he said about four and a half years. And this, this is the moment in time. Um, what you're going to do potentially uh, with these dreams and goals and desires is if you're putting off something that needs to be done, starting gym, starting to learn the piano, to art, um, to set up your own business, etc, etc. If it's put off and put off and put off in time, it may be f too far away for you and you'll end up taking them to the grave. So, so accountability, what does it give us? So liability, I used to test lifts and when you sign a test sheet, you go on a lot of courses to tell you that it's your fault, it's your responsibility, you're going to jail if that lift is non-compliant. Um, and you're made accountable and liable for that. And it gives the business owners some certainty that the business is, is working by design. So in a lift, we have brackets that keep the guides um, um, accountable for where they should be. We have safety circuits that keep the system accountable for making sure the system's safe. In businesses, we have the same things in employees' interfaces or roles and responsibilities um, where we can keep that certainty and that peace of mind. Because essentially what this gives us, if you own a business, it gives you freedom and peace of mind because without it, you, you never know what or where the business is going. It's like leaving a lift with the doors linked out and sending it up the shaft. Uh, there's no accountability and it's not by design. So is there something in your business, in your life, some design some desire, some dream that you've got that, that you can find some accountability because that may be the missing part. You actually know what you've got to do. It's not coaching you need. It's accountability to say, uh, I want to write a book and I want to start and I'm going to do it an hour on a Sunday and have someone that can hold you accountable to that um, and then keep you living by design and moving and growing towards where you want to get to. So have a think. I hope that helped. Um, if you need any help, then drop us a line and get in touch. If not, take care. Good luck.